On average, an American woman spends $50,000 on her hair in her lifetime. KOMU 8's Maddie Heidenreich explains how one local woman realized it's not always money well spent. In 2009, Penny Brown walked into this hair salon to get her head shaved. She'd been diagnosed with a very small but aggressive breast cancer. Aggressive disease, aggressive treatment, aggressive hair loss. When I began to see that I was getting an awful lot of hair in the drain of the shower, um, I called my beauty shop person and he shaved my head for me so that I wouldn't have to mess with it. A woman gets used to her hair, obviously. It's her crowning glory. And uh, yeah, it's tough to do that. It's tough to shave a head when you know somebody and have known them that long. For some women, that first glance in the mirror can be a very moving experience. That's why here at the American Cancer Society, women can try on wigs like this one to help cope with the process. Because more often than not, when a woman comes here, she just wants to find something that matches what she has. She doesn't want anybody knowing that something's going on with her. Uh, it's a very private uh, tumultuous fight. But Penny didn't want to match her old style. She wanted to do something different. It was short and kind of spiky and pretty, um, just kind of an energetic looking thing. Penny found comfort in her support group. I had an advantage because two other friends of mine were also doing it and at one point all three of us were sitting around in our new wigs having lunch together. But lunch with the girls all in their new wigs is not the end of the story. Once you've had it they do some they make sure that you get your mammograms and you are very interested in getting your mammograms. So the second time when they said the other breast was now involved, I thought, wait a minute, you're kidding. And they weren't. She had surgery and will soon begin radiation and chemotherapy with a new drug. It's very well for that and it's not that toxic. And if it happens to not make all their hair fall out, well, that's a wonderful bonus. Penny says losing her hair again would be annoying, but since it grows back, the loss isn't a tragedy. Maddie Heidenreich, KOMU 8 News, Columbia.